You've got to tune in 90.3 FM, KEXP, streaming online at kexp.org. Morgan here with you on this Saturday afternoon. Very glad to be here with you during Bumbershoot. And I uh, mentioned we have a very busy show today. I'm down in the live room yet again for another amazing in-studio performance. Very excited to welcome Filthy Friends to the studio. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Take Thanks. it away if you're ready.
Awesome. Filthy Friends live on KEXP. The new album is Invitation just came out on August 25th on Kill Rockstars. They played yesterday at Bumbershoot at the mural stage. So glad to have you here. How was the show last night? It was super fun. Yeah, it was it was just beautiful. The weather was perfect. The sun went down just right before we took the stage. So beautiful. you can't really ask for more. That's awesome. And uh, this group is made up of lots of familiar faces. Would you mind going around the room and introducing yourselves for the listeners at home? Hey, this is Corin Tucker. And we have uh, to her left. To, oh, to her left. I'm Peter Buck today. <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm Peter Buck tomorrow, but today I'll be Kurt Block. Perfect. I'm Scott McCoy. And I'm Linda Pittman. Awesome. So many amazing bands that you've all been in, and now you're in this uh, project together called Filthy Friends. Can you talk about how you all came together to, to become Filthy Friends? Well, I think Peter actually originally asked me to sing on his first solo album. Yeah, I... I was in the middle of writing this song and it just, A, it was out of my range and B, it just felt, I don't know, I heard a female voice and I kind of knew Corin and I really knew her husband very well. I thought it was maybe a little pretentious to call her up, but she came in and nailed the song and it just seemed like something we should pursue. You know, songwriting, let's see how that works. Mm -hmm. And how did the rest of you get involved? Um, I we think just, we were just there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so suddenly we were that we were there. No, I mean, we all play together. You know, um, Peter and I are probably in at least five bands together, and Kurt's in a couple of them at least, and Linda's in three or four of them. So, and uh, you know, Bill Rufin also uh, he played drums on the project. Um, he's busy elsewhere now, but um, he insisted Linda be his replacement, and, uh, and we had no problem with that. Great wow. pick. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you talk about the process of uh, writing this album and recording this album? I think Peter and I started getting together and just working on songs together, um, and he had a ton of ideas already of, of different songs, and, um, you know, Sometimes I would throw a different chorus in there or we rearrange things a little bit. Um, sometimes I brought in a couple things that we worked on together. And, you know, I came up with vocal melodies and lyrics and we just, I mean, it happened I, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, it was just, let's, let's pursue this. And the songwriting went well. And as I was making, I think, two different solo records, I'd just say, hey, why don't you come on down and we'll use my band and we'll see if we can record some of these things. At some point, we had 15 songs, so it seemed like a record. And it wasn't until then we started thinking, okay, it should have a band name, and then we should write the next record and do some shows. And, but it kind of crept along organically for a little while. Mm -hmm. And are you planning on touring extensively on this album? I think this is our extensive tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. KEXP is basically where we wanted to end up. <laughs> nice, yeah. perfect. Just the cold brew, yeah. washer and dryer in the green room. Yeah. Like that was basically our bucket list for yeah. this band. Did we're you bring your laundry? <laughs> oh, we, we didn't, you don't know we're not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you live here now, I see. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Well, your green, the green room is just now Filthy Friends room. Um, where did the name Filthy Friends come from? What, where did you pick that from? I think Corin noted my predilection for never changing my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so the washer and dryer is really going to come in handy. You know, those are like 21st century things. I'm not, I'm not there yet. <laughs> he wears it well. Yeah, you can just look at them. That's fine. <laughs> and then you, go, you all have so much experience in the music industry over the years. Um, I'd love to ask you, how do you feel like the music industry has changed putting out a record now, and uh, particularly in the Pacific Northwest music scene? Um, I think that the whole, you know, the digital world is really number one now in the music business. That's where people expect to hear the record. That's where they expect to hear about the band, you know, so you kind of have to be ready for that. Um, I don't know, having, having your act together and knowing when it's all going to happen. Um, you know, whereas in, as in when we started, it was more about like, oh, well, when's your first show? You know, the live experience was was more, I think, number one, and now it's, you know, number two or number three. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Anyone else have ideas about that? 
Well, there's music and there's the music business, and I just don't really even think about the music business, which may be a failing, but, you know, I mean, I write songs, I record them, and I play them, and something happens. So, <laughs> you know... I think that's a healthy mindset. Yeah, you know, you can't worry about it. I, we played last night. It was great. I'm really proud of the record, and I have no idea how the whole modern world works in many, many ways. Mm -hmm. So this is just, you know, I'm kind of just bouncing off the edge of the music business and making music. Cool. That's perfect. And uh, any plans for another record with this project? Do you think you're going to keep going? Yeah, it's not a project. I mean, I'm kind of an intense person, and so is Corin, and we've already written a whole bunch of stuff. So it's we're really focused on it. That said, Corin has Slater Kenny, which is a really important band. Um, you know, we all have family and have things to do. So, when, you know, I'm not one of those people that believes in multitasking. You do something and you really do it. But then you can walk away from it, too. We'll do it. We're gonna, we'll have another record probably sooner than later. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to it. We'd love to hear a couple more songs uh, from you guys right now. Filthy Friends live on KEXP. And speaking of which, oh. this next one is actually a brand new song. Oh, perfect. So, <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, so proof in the pudding. Ask and you I, shall receive. Yeah. <laughs> this, this next one is called Ides October. Live on KEXP. <laughs> Come on!
That was Brother from the new album Invitation from Filthy Friends live here on KEXP. That was awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having us. And uh, ending your tour here where now you live. We live here now. In the green room. Rent is due on the 10th. Great. Okay, good. So we have an agreement. (laughs) So we'll see you tomorrow. (laughs) Thank you so much again. Yes, and uh, way to knock off your headphones at the end there. That's a sure sign of rocking, so way to rock. And uh, keep it tuned right here. Yeah. <laughs> could you could you make sure that Connor Oberst and the other bands that are coming in today don't bother us in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're yeah. going to build Thanks. a new green room. <laughs> we didn't expect there to be a bum rush on the green room today. So <laughs> that's, Teal room. Yeah. So uh, speaking of which, Connor Oberst will be live here on KXP coming up at 5 p.m. on Troy's show. He'll take you through from 3 to 6. My name is Morgan. Thanks so much for tuning in this afternoon. And have a great rest of your weekend. Keep it tuned right here to the station where the music matters. 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.